Uh, Victini, I think is pretty good. Uh, just because of like it's a pretty decent typing and uh, you can actually get it uh, before the uh, uh, Castilia gym. Uh, my question is like if you even had the event for it, uh, what uh, level do you get it at? Okay, Liberty Pass. Yeah, that's still 15. Okay, so, so this is legit. You can get this like before um, the bug gym. I'd say it's pretty darn good. Uh, and it actually still like uh, does really well even in like the later parts of the games and stuff. And overall, I, I honestly think it's like a solid A tier Pokemon. Superior, <laughs> as much as I love this Pokemon, it's honestly just really, 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 really bad. Uh, contrary is a hidden ability, so you won't be getting it uh, in your Nuzlocks. So this is just unfortunately really, really, really bad. Like low C tier. Uh, it's definitely better than a lot of these Pokemon, though. Um, I think it's like it might honestly be worse than uh, Ninjask. Also, Ninjask is just like. I think Ninjask should be like right there. That's fine. Uh, Embor, uh, I'd say it's like pretty darn good. Uh, just because like fire types are super rare, and uh, overall, there's a pretty darn good Pokemon uh, to have in your Nuzlocke. Uh, and. Um, yeah, overall, it does pretty good, uh, especially in Black 2, White 2, uh, because of how it deals with the first three gyms um, pretty darn well. So, I'd say um, this is also A tier. Maybe, is it better than Victini though? I don't think so. Samurai, my personal favorite uh, Gen 5 starter, but like it's also people say that this thing's really not worth it But I honestly think that people are actually underrating it uh, for one uh, There aren't many good water types uh, available as of recent so um, overall I think honestly I honestly think like it's I mean, obviously, if you get better water types, then this is, like, super replaceable, but, like, I think just this Pokemon by itself is, like, pretty okay. I do think it's gonna be, like, a little lower, though. Uh, Watchog. Okay, hot take here? I think Watchog... Actually, hmm, I was about to say Watchog is, like, super good early game, but I think that's just because I've been playing, like, doubles Nuzlocke, so... Um, I think, I still think that it's pretty decent, I just don't think it's, like, really that good. Like, as good as I was thinking it was, so. Uh, overall... Hmm. It, it starts to plateau after the early game. I think I'm gonna put it, like, right here. Uh, Stalin gets Intimidate, that's pretty good already, but also you get, uh, Stab Normal type moves, and those are really, uh, strong usually, so I'd say this is pretty darn good. Uh, where do I put this, though? I'd say, like, right about here. Are you better than Raticate, though? Honestly, maybe. You might honestly be better. Uh, Lipard is, like, infinitely worse to get as a starter. Or not starter. Well, I guess starter encounter, like, uh, but, like, in Black 2, White 2 or something like that. I think overall it's just not that good. I think overall... It can serve to be pretty good early game, but again, I've been doing a lot- I do, I've been doing, like, double snuzz locks, so, like, this thing was actually, like, really important, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually put this thing, like, right where Watchog is, like, around. Okay, uh, I do think that Simi Sage is the coolest one, but I also think that he- that it is the worst of the three monkeys, so I'm going to... Um, he's probably better than, like, a lot of these grass types. 
although not better than like some of the other ones. Uh, Simi Seer, like because like all of these have like a 101 speed stat, I think overall these are pretty okay. And not to mention like, I want to put, I mean obviously it's like infinitely worse than like a lot of these other like fire types, but I think overall he's like around like here. What is Simi Seer's um, uh, stats actually? Okay, so it's pretty frail, but look at that 101 speed, 98 offenses, not bad. So I honestly think, like, yeah, these are like, this is pretty okay where it is right now. Simi Poor gets Scald, uh, which is a big step up from uh, a lot of these other monkeys, and um, in fact, a lot of like other water types. So I think overall. Like, again, it's definitely worse than, like, some of these other ones, but I honestly want to put it, like, around the top here of all these water types. So, probably, like, right about, say, here. Hmm, <clears throat> this is interesting because Musharna's, like, not that good. You need a Moonstone, so, uh, that's really, you only usually get that. Uh, typically after the whole plasma situation in pinwheel forest so and by the time you get it it's just like not worth it there's literally gonna be a bug type uh, gem coming up after so I, I'd say it's like not really that useful I do think it's better than like a lot of other like uh, a lot of these other Pokemon though so like right about C Maybe here, actually. Unpheasant, um, probably the worst of the, um, uh, flying birds, uh, like, starter birds in, like, every game. Uh, in Gen 8, it did get Brave Bird, so that's a nice, a little, nice little, uh, point added to Unpheasant's repertoire. But, unfortunately, it's just bad. I think it's honestly, like, mid-C tier, actually. I think it's like right here. Zeb Strike, a pretty darn cool Pokemon, and this thing actually carries uh, in the um, in the electric gems whenever you like find them. If you manage to like actually get one before a Nimbasa City gym, then like this is really really good to have. And also, these are also readily available before Mistralton. So I'd say like yeah, this is like a top Pokemon to get like in your Nuzlocks. So I honestly want to put it in A tier. I might be overrating it though. I think I think like high B tier is like good enough. Okay, in case you don't evolve Gigalith, uh well, two Gigalith from Boldor will be rating it, and I think it's just like overall like pretty decent as like a Eevee Light Rock type user, so it's just like right here. And then Gigalith is like pretty darn good, especially if you get Sandstream Gigalith, which is like a Gen 7 and up thing. Uh, that thing becomes so tanky, like it's almost it's like really really hard to kill. So I think it would probably be like around like here. So that does not. Uh, get simple for a regular ability, so like uh, that's probably like a little bit better than like some like of the other psychic types. So probably like right about here. Is it better than Absol? No. And honestly, I think Absol's like a little too low right now. I think I'll move it up a tiny bit. Excadrill is fantastic. It's one of the best Pokemon to ever get. If you do a Pokemon run. Uh, where this thing is available and you don't get it, what the hell is wrong with you? So, like, this thing is, like, absolutely, this thing is, like, 100% great. This is one of the best Pokemon to get ever. If you pair it with Sandstream, it's, like, holy balls, it's so good. Where do I put it here, though? Is it better than Mega Swampert? Um... I can't say. I don't think they're available in both games unless you like do some Mirage Island shit in Oras. Uh, I want to say it's like right here. Like Excadrill, so fantastic, dude. Okay, Mega Audino. Do you? Uh, where do you get Audinite? Oh wait, isn't this like post game? Okay, yeah. All right. So this would be like really hard to rank then. 
Um, I guess we have to like rank it in general, which it's honestly like pretty darn good. So I'd say it's like low A tier. The problem is that it's just like not readily available. So I'd say it's like right about like see here. A selling point for uh, Mega Audino is that it's like super bulky. And then regular Audino is like still really, really good in my opinion. Maybe just as good. Because the problem with Audino is that if you're using Mega Audino is that like you're you're using a mega slot for probably something that could be like super better. So yeah. But if you don't have any other megas, then this thing is still a pretty darn good substitute. Uh, the only issue is you're giving up a regenerator as an ability, which is like honestly not that good. It might honestly make it so like it's actually worse than regular Audino. I don't know. I can't tell. Okay, in case you don't evolve Girder to Conkelder, we're gonna rank a uh, Girder. So, um, honestly, Girder is like around where a lot of these Pokemon here are. I do think it's better than a lot of uh, these. So yeah. And then Conkelder is like fantastic, dude. Conkelder is a absolute monster. It's one of the best fighting types in the game. It has so much coverage. Um, probably S tier, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, actually. I think I'll put it in, like, top of A tier. It's one of the best Pokemon that we've got right now. You misspelled your name on Twitch? Oh, geez. Uh, God, what a shame. It's, it's so, it's so, uh, life-threatening for me that there is a 15-character limit for Twitch. God, you can't make your name longer than 15 characters. That's why I took out one S. By the way, go follow me on twitch.tv slash brandonplaystuff. Uh, yeah. Seismitoad is a pretty interesting Pokemon because um, depending on like uh, which game that you're using this, this can be like really good or uh, pretty okay. And I'd say I'm gonna rank it like in between, so it's gonna be like right here. Uh, the thing is, like if you're- wait, is this thing available in like Sword and Shield? It should be, right? Okay. Yeah, it is available. Alright, never mind. Alright. Okay, so this thing is pretty darn good. Uh, it might honestly be A tier. Plus the fact that it's like a ground type it also helps. Throw gets guts, it's really slow, but overall I think it's pretty good because it's also really bulky as well. So I'd say it's like probably around like say here. And then sock is probably around, probably worse actually because it doesn't have guts. It does get sturdy so it can survive one hit actually. So actually that might make it slightly better. I'm, I'm unsure, I'm unsure. You can get this thing, uh, you can get both actually super early, uh, because, um, because of how, uh, the fucking, like, thing for, it's, it's useful for Nacreen, uh, city, so, you can use that to be, um, Lenora. Holy Vanny, uh, what is there to say? As much as I really like this Pokemon, it's honestly, like, really, really bad. It's definitely better than Superior, though. Scallopede, what is your move set? So it gets Megahorn at, as like a, a, a relearn move, which is honestly already pretty damn good. Honestly, and the fact that this, this thing can get Earthquake and stuff as well, Poison Jab. Honestly, this is really, really, really decent. I think it's like, I think that's like B tier. I think it's like better than all of them. like mm, actually not sure. I might be overrating this a little bit. It might be like right here. Uh Whimsicott gets a uh, prankster, uh also has like leech seed protect and stuff. You can really cheese things uh with this Pokemon. I think overall this thing's like an interesting concept, but I think it's also one that actually kinda works. Probably the same amount as Jump Luff does. Lilligant has own tempo and pedal dance. You can even use quiver dance on this thing. So I'm inclined to put it in a B tier. However, you got level 28. That is ridiculous. Level 28 quiver dance. You get one of the best set setup moves in the game at level 28. 
Okay, no, this thing is like actually useful if you manage to evolve this thing at like level 28 or so. Do not evolve this thing past level 29 or like level 28. This thing is actually a carry in the early game. So I think overall it's actually like way better than like some like a lot of the other grass types. Basculin. It hits hard. That's what I think. But I think overall this thing's like pretty oak okay, average at best. I think it's like right here. Uh, might be better than a uh, girder though. Crocodile is really, 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 really fantastic. It's it's like easy A tier. And the reason why I say this is because um, it has Intimidate. It's like all of its abilities are really, really good. You have Intimidate or Moxie. Uh, you also have a Dark type and Ground type, which is like also really good typing. Uh, access to Stab Earthquake and Crunch, amazing. Uh, you also get a lot of uh, coverage as well, especially in like the newer generation, being with like close combat and stuff. I think overall, and especially like the fact that this thing serves as great utility, is like so damn good. A top ground type in my opinion, like Nuzlocke. Overall, this is a fantastic Pokemon. Uh, I think it's like completely outclassed by Excadrill though, because like it's like Excadrill is like way better, but it can act. I think it also can actually deal with Excadrill's really well too. I think overall Crocodile is like fantastic, dude. I've never actually used a uh, Galarian Darmanitan, so I can't rate it. But I also do think that this thing is probably really fucking insane. It got banned to Ubers for a reason. As for Darmanitan, dude, this thing fucking hits hard, dude. I think it's like somewhere near where a crocodile is uh or around at least it might honestly be like around like say here sheer force if you get it with zen mode then you kind of are sad because you don't get sheer force so <laughs> yeah overall uh darmanitan wide move pool uh it's only it's really frail but also you can like you can make it work i think you can make it work somehow uh, Maractus, honestly, you're like really, really bad. Also, Carnivine, you're probably down here too. Brustle, hmm, hard to say. I think this thing can actually serve to be as like good utility. Maybe, I don't know. It has sturdy. It can actually, do oh wait, it has a niche in the Elite Four for both Dark and, and uh, Psychic. So that, so that's a bump up, in my opinion. I think it's gonna be like around, like say, right over, like, probably like right, um, here. Scrafty is an interesting Pokemon because it's a, a unique typing and overall it's like a pretty decent. Uh, if it gets hit by fairy types though, then it's kind of dead. So it's a lot worse in Gen 6 uh, and uh, 8, but I think it's best in Gen 5. So like, I think I'll rate it based on like all those like factors. And I think it's gonna be like right around like say here. The reason why I say that is just because like it gets a lot. It, it's like nerfed whenever it gets to Gen 6. Sure, like. It can hit steel types more reliably, but also it's just overall. I mean, it no intimidates a hidden ability. Okay, never mind. Sigilif, honestly, is like pretty darn okay, in my opinion. I think it's actually really decent. I don't think it's A tier. I think it's like mid B tier, to be honest. I think it's like a little worse than Mr. Mime. Kafgurgus is really, really, really bulky, and that's like a selling point for Kafgurgus, and really the only uh, selling point. It's also ghost type, so I guess it would be a useful early game. What is this music, hello? Oh, it's Animal Crossing. <laughs> wow, I did not recognize it at all. I think overall, Kafgurgus is just like, Pretty decent. I think it's like interchangeable with Sableye, so I'll put it right here. Caracosta is interesting. 
So, um, I'd say... The thing is, like, you can get shell smash and stuff, and there's, like, a lot of, like, attacks that this thing can use. I think overall it's actually, like, pretty okay, but I do think it's, like, worse than Regirock. Archeops is, like, really tough to judge because without its ability, this thing could be, like, top tier, but if it wasn't... But because it does have its ability, it's, like, not as good. I think overall, it's... It's like really, really, really good. Often you're gonna be okoing a lot of stuff, especially if you're a good Nuzlocker and you prep beforehand, so. I'd say this thing is like, um, a A tier. That's my opinion though. Oh yeah, reminder, this is my opinion. Uh, Garboder is like, not good, right? I don't think Garboder is that good. As much as I really like this Pokemon, I think I'm gonna put it like right here. Zoroark is great. It's a fantastic Pokemon in Nuzlocke because you can actually confuse the the hell out of the AI. So, yeah, I'd say this is like a really, really, really good Pokemon. Uh, yeah, right there. I think that I think that's a good place for it. Actually, it might be a little lower. Uh, I'm gonna put it like right there because uh, you get it for free you can get nasty plot on it you can also get um, a dark pulse on it if you got enough shards for it and if you're playing like a harder nuzlocke you can even get night days uh, overall fantastic move so uh, uh, and it also gets like good coverage flamethrower focus blast um, and it even gets like sucker punch for some reason so I don't know chinchino is tough to rank for me but it does get a lot of multi-hit moves, and you can cheese the hell out of things with, like, King's Rock and stuff. Honestly? This thing is, like, pretty average. I think it's, like, better than Regigigas, though. Dude, Regigigas sucks so much. Holy shit. Gothitelle, um... It's just not good, right? It gets Shadow Tag as a hidden ability, but, like... Okay, what gives? Who cares? AI is not gonna switch. I think it's like right about, like, say here. Reuniclus, however, is like really, really, really good. It's bulky and it also has a really high special attack um, with good coverage as well. I think it's actually better than Espeon. Swana is like a very average watered flying type. There's really no reason to use this unless you really need like something to help you fly around. I think it's like just about where these birds are. Vanillax, despite being good offensively, it's also an ice type. I think ice types are like overall like not that great. So it's like a little um, under average. Um, I do think that like it's like slightly better than Glaceon though. Uh, why do I have Deerling here? Hello? Okay, wait, why do I actually have Deerling here? Uh, Sawsbuck is like... It's... Eh? I don't know. I don't think it's crazy but i don't think it's that good either i'll put it like right there i think it's better than uh garboder just because it gets access to like fighting type moves like jump kick so overall pretty darn good emolgo's like interesting because half of the time you get motor drive half of the time you get static so um i think motor drive is like better as an ability and i think i'm honestly gonna put it like right about here Okay, sometimes you don't evolve uh, Carablast because you just don't have anyone to trade with and it's like one of the worst encounters that you could possibly get. It's like down here. And then Escavalier is like really, really good, especially in like uh, Gen 6 and onward because it can deal with fairy types, you know? It actually has something to deal with. Uh, the problem is it's like completely outclassed by Scizor, so uh, I'd say it's like down here. Uh, I forgot what the name of this Pokemon was, so, um, but we'll rate it. Uh, this thing is, like, pretty darn bulky. Uh, if you get it as a, a hidden ability, which it's actually possible to get, uh, this thing could be, like, pretty godlike. But, like, overall, I found it to be, like, super underwhelming at times, so I think I'm gonna put it in, like, um, I think it's, like, Low B tier is like not that bad of a play. Eh, actually, I don't know. 
I think like mid B tier is like pretty okay. Jellicent is like a really, really, really good Pokemon. Uh, really bulky. It has like water absorb, curse body, and all that. Um, and uh, it gets a bunch of utility. Scald being a notable uh, option. Will O Wisp as well. Recover. Um, overall, really good Pokemon. And I honestly think that it's like around, say. Honestly, I think it's actually A tier. Like right here. Aloma Mola. Okay, so I haven't used this thing too much. I think overall it's like pretty underwhelming as an attacker, so. I'd say, I'd say Aloma Mola is like right about, say. It's around the, where these water types are. There's like a really big clunk of water types I noticed. I think defensively this is like really really good. I'll put it like right here. Galvantula can sweep through a bunch of the Elite Four. That's pretty good. Uh, I think this is like a solid A tier Pokemon. No question about it. Uh, but I think it's like right here. Because Bug, Electric, really good offensive combo. Uh, I think it's a good Pokemon all around. So, yeah. Look at that. Ferrothorn is really, 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 really good. I honestly think it's S tier. I want to check out its like move pool. I might be disappointed, but I also think this thing is like really, really good. It's like it's cursed, so it can already build up uh its uh its stats. Uh, it has Gyro Ball, so that's already really good as well. Power Whip, Iron Head if you don't want to like uh, use a gimmick in uh, Gyro Ball. Plus it has like low PP and stuff. Toxic, um, Protect, uh, Shadow Claw. It can even explode if you want it to, but you don't probably want that for a uh, defensive Pokemon. Thunder Wave, Swords Dance, wow I actually didn't know that. Uh, Bulldoze for uh, utility. And then egg moves, okay. Giga Drain, knockoff, Stealth Rock, wow. This thing is this thing is so good, what the heck? And that's without Leech Seed. In which to be fair, if it can get it like normally, if it could get it normally, this that that thing's like super top tier. Cling Clang, I love this Pokemon, but I also think it's like pretty okay or average. So I think it's like right about here. I don't think it's better than- uh, it might be actually. I think it's like right here actually. It's not better than Mega Bennett. The Electros has no weakness and it's an electric type. That's really good. So, cause like it has Levitate. Uh, it's only weakness would typically be ground, but since it's levitating, it's- it has no weakness. I think it's a solid A tier Pokemon. I don't think it's actually better than Aggron update. Uh, it might not even be better than Alolan Raichu. Behem is a slow psychic type that's actually really bad, but also you could make Trick Room work, but I think overall this thing is just like pretty average at best. Chandelure is a ghost fire type. It has flash fire sometimes. It also gets a uh, um, flame body, so yeah. I think this thing's like really, really good. It's definitely a step up uh, from these fire types. Things like right here. Haxorus is like top of A tier. However, you get this thing at like level 48 or something like that. Uh, so I'm not sure. I'm not really sure about it. It gets Dragon Dance and Swords Dance, so yeah. Dude, this thing just sucks so much ass, oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Welcome to low C tier. Yeah, this thing's like low C tier. I think this definitely like just like right here, maybe. I do think it's better than- Nah, actually I don't think so. Ice types are just so bad. Croganal's like really fast, and I think overall like it's frail on paper, but uh, at least on the physical defense department, but like uh, on the special defense uh, side, it's really, really bulky. You won't be killing this thing on the special side unless you use like a really, really strong uh, fire type. So I think overall this thing's like, it's still C tier because it's an ice type and ice types just suck. Um, but like, I think it's like, eh. Ah, this, this thing's not better than Octillery. Shalmet, if you don't have Excelgore, is like one of the worst Pokemon you could possibly get. And that's sad considering like uh, these Pokemon are actually really cool. 
And then Excel Gore is like even then like not too good. So Excel Gore is just like probably around say like uh, here. I've never used this thing in a Nuzlocke before. Stunfisk? Eh, maybe you can make this work? You can maybe make this work, but I don't think you really can usually. I don't know if you can really make Stunfisk work. I think it's just like a little bit worse than uh, um, Goodbye. Mean Shadow is like top of A tier just because it gets Regenerator and U-Turn. A uh, ridiculous combo. If you're not using it like that, then something's wrong with you. You should be using it like that. That's what I think. This thing is like really, really, really good. And it's the top Pokemon in uh, the Elite Four teams that uh, go through Unova. So save your, uh, save your Mean Shao until the Elite Four. Drudagon is a dragon type that doesn't get Dragon Dance, but it's like super bulky. I think it's like around where... Um, where, where do I put this thing? Honestly, like right here. Golurk. Hmm. Ground Ghost is a pretty interesting typing. I think overall, this thing's like pretty okay. I honestly think it's better than Mega Manette. Bisharp is really, 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 really good. Um, I want to put it in like top of A tier, but there is a slight issue with Bisharp. There is a really big issue. It's really reliant on uh, a few things. First off, Defiant. Only half of uh, the Bisharps that you get will have Defiant. Second, uh, Sucker Punch. Third, it doesn't get Iron Head until level 57, which it's honestly not that big of a problem uh, if you're playing like Black 2, say, for example. But if you're playing Black 1, you're probably just not going to be using this thing. And plus, this thing evolves really, really late. So I don't think you're going to be able to use it. In Black White 1 at least. In Black White 2 you could maybe, you could use it. But I think Bisharp, honestly, like because you can't get access to it in like Black and White. So like, it's just like, no access to it whatsoever. I'd say like, I'm going to bump it down actually a little bit. I think overall this thing is like right about here. Ah, uh, it might actually be worse than that. Yeah, it might just, it might just be like right here. I do still think that Bisharp's like really good though. Buffalon is really powerful, but it's also really, really slow. And uh, like this thing could probably be really good, but also it's just like, eh, I don't know. I think we'll put it in like around here. I think it's definitely like worse than Ka Kangaskhan actually. Braviary can get sheer force sometimes. I'd say that's a pretty good bump up uh, from like a lot of the other like birds that you can get. I think uh, you can actually like argue putting this in like high B tier. I think it's better than Aerodactyl. Mandibuzz is like really bulky, but I also think it's like slightly underwhelming. Uh, but I do want to put in like uh, either low A tier or high B tier. It might honestly be like right here. Heatmore! I honestly don't think it's that good. <laughs> I honestly don't think Heatmore is that good. It's just like. I think it's like just about as good as uh, Magmar is. Durant, however, is like a really good Pokemon with Hustle. Uh, this thing's like a pain to grind. I think it's actually best in uh, Sword and Shield because Dynamax is like really helpful for it. So like overall, so I think overall it's like actually like right around here. Okay, Zawilus, if you're not using Hydreigon, is like pretty okay. But I don't think you should use it as an Elite Four Pokemon just because it gets it's really, really slow. Uh, I th I honestly don't think it's that good. I think it's like around like high C tier. So probably like right here. High Dragon, however, is really, really, really hard to rank because you, sometimes you can't even get it. And whenever you do get it, uh, it's probably like really over leveled or something. But you can't rank this thing like any lower than S tier. This thing's like so good, especially like in Gen 6 or not in Gen like 8 now. It gets a nasty plot uh, along with like other moves now. I think it even gets Hydro Pump or something. That's fucking insane. Like, how can you put this thing like not in like uh, S tier? Uh, it's not bannable. That's what I will say. This thing's definitely not bannable. 
Um, but like, no, this thing's like fantastic. And it's cool because it's also my favorite Pokemon of all time. So Volcarona is like a really weird case because you can get this thing like super early game, but also like this move pool that it has is like really, really eh. Uh, and you really need to like rely on like move tutor moves for it. So yeah. Uh, I honestly, I'm, I'm almost inclined to like not put it in S tier just because of that. Uh, in late game, it's actually a, like a lot more uh, viable because like Quiver Dance is like ridiculous. But you can't put this thing uh, anywhere lower than A tier. I honestly think this is like high A tier. I think it's like slightly worse than Darmanitan though. You could honestly debate i can honestly like uh see why people would ban cabalion but if you don't this thing's like 100 percent like say like a tier i'd say like a tier dude this thing's really good terrakion is something similar uh you could advocate banning it um and like if you don't it's probably probably better than terrak than cobalion honestly and then verizon is like high like like well maybe mid a tier it's like a lot worse than the other two but i think it's probably one of the better grass types although certainly not the best grass type uh tornadus is honestly like pretty eh you can put this thing in a tier i guess but problem is, is like its best uh thing its best uh stab move is hurricane and we know how inaccurate hurricane is it's like really inaccurate and then tornadus t like you could argue banning it but i also think it's like a lot better than tornadus uh incarnate at least yeah tornadus t is like so good it's it might honestly be s tier it might genuinely be s tier because of how good it is yeah, in my own, I think it's actually S tier. Okay, so Thunderous. Uh, so Prankster T Wave. That is ridiculously busted. Um, I'm almost inclined to like either put in like um, uh, S tier or low A tier. I'm thinking like low S tier. Hot take. My hot take is that Thunderous is like low S tier. As for Thunderous Therian. Hot take, but I honestly think Thunderous Therian is like worse because Volt Absorb is like a much less useful ability and it also gets slower. It does get more powerful. Honestly, it's not as good. <sighs> yeah, I actually don't think this thing is actually as good as regular Thunderous. Might honestly be like right about here. And that's just shame because I actually really like uh, Thunderous Therian. Uh, Reshiram and Zekrom are banned, obviously. I've honestly considered banning Landorus T. Landorus, you definitely ban because of, like, uh, Sand Force and Shear Force. Um, I honestly think Base Curum is kinda shit, but I also would say, like, I'm banning it because... Mostly because, like, if you, a if you have access to regular Curum, you probably have access to black and white Kyurem because of how, like, hey, we know these Pokemon exist now. We might as well just give them to the player if you have access to Kyurem. And then Keldeo is probably, like, high A tier just because of how strong it is and stuff. Its special attack stat is, like, off the charts. Like, what the heck? It's special attack and speed being super good is, like, a really good factor. It gets Scald, it gets really strong water-type attacks, and, like, Secret Sword being a fighting-type Psy Shock. Meloetta is honestly, like, not that good. I honestly don't think Meloetta is really that good, and, um, because of that, I'm going to put it in, like, mid-B tier. Where do I put this thing, though? This thing's obviously worse than Mega Camera Up. I honestly think it's worse than Torkoal as well. Dude, this thing sucks so much. Oh my god. It's not bad, but it's also not good either. And then Genesect you should probably ban. So, yeah. Alright, that's the, that's the Gen 5 tier list for now. I'm gonna take a short break. I'll be right back. Right. 